This episode of Casual Friday is brought to you by Gamefly. I'm still trying to bring down the energy I've been trained with right. for 14 years. Yeah, repressing yeah. TV energy is a lot like hiding being strung out on drugs. It's a very similar vibe. <laughs> Um, so, but, but with your show, um, explosions, but obviously with Mythbusters, explosions are, how many explosions have you probably been adjacent to in Gosh. your career? I can't even count. I mean, they're like, on Mythbusters, there's, you know, hundreds, over, you know, hundreds and hundreds. I, I, we have a number somewhere of like how many explosions we've done. Um, but this is so different because, you know, with Mythbusters, we're always trying to get to the bottom of a myth and you know it's usually a tool that we're using to tell some scientific you know thing with blow it up it's just like it's it's completely an emotional release you know what I mean? yeah. the point. <laughs> it's, it's more of like how do we get rid of this thing for this person who has this bad memory attached uh, but when i was thinking about doing the show i was like okay i want to blow like i love blowing stuff up that's my favorite part on mythbusters but i think just blowing stuff up by itself gets boring. So I was like, what if there was a story around the item that we were trying to blow up? And I think that's the hook that keeps people interested because people can relate to these ridiculous. Right, like, like David Prager's car yeah, or yeah. a creeper from Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Or... <laughs> it's Catharsis, the TV show. Well, see, yeah. here's what's interesting. We're, it's like a public service, we're helping people. Sure. You know, explosions in games. I, yes, there is definitely something cathartic when you do it, but it's really for the area of effect damage when you're in combat. Like, okay, there's too many guys there. Yeah. I need to deal with more than one at a time. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot the car, shoot the red barrel. On a side note, have you ever wondered who's making the red barrels that explode and how he's selling them that people inadvertently put them in the wrong place? Yeah, and how do they ship them? Like, yeah, like when they just blow up in, in the transport, like I mean, they I, hit bumps. I see the guy at yeah. the store like, oh, oh well, this, this red barrel will be great right, right. next to that lean-to you have. I, I, <laughs> great I, I, for, I really, yeah, you know, yeah, they're like <laughs> perfectly placed. <laughs> Whoa, that's convenient. <laughs> they're excellent for ducking behind and they're excellent for standing near. All, it, it, it really pieces. ties the evil base together. You really want a good red barrel right there. But I mean, do you find yourself like when you're playing, you know, like, like for an example, either Halo, my games are Halo and uh, Call of Duty. Where it's like you're you're shooting and you're like ah, I'm not killing fast enough and then just yeah. my, like my go-to is just yeah. I don't know if I throw grenades a panic that'll button. help yeah. because there's there's times where like there's so much chaos going on it's, yeah, like, it's a panic I need, button I, I need fewer things to know how many things I have to deal mm -hmm. with. right and then yeah and then you slowly pick them off no it's exactly yeah. and, that, and that really is a catharsis. Mm -hmm. Just like, okay, like, I think I, like, I have like, control. Oh, I'm not getting it done. Oh, grenades, oh, grenades, man. grenades. That would <clears throat> work. Well, in, in Halo, because of the sticky grenades, I mean, there still is, I think nothing is satisfying in a shooter yeah, than when a you plasma get it grenade. on the enemy. Yeah. I, and they're like, okay, this is bad, this is bad. When, like straight on their head. When you put a plasma <laughs> grenade right on their head, and you're like, and you see it run away like a candle, and you're just like, you got Almost them. as good is when you throw a grenade off in a random direction in like Call of Duty or Halo, and 10 seconds later, the little pit pops up to say that you've got them. You're like, how did I do that? Yeah, you're like, the other side of the map. So long ago. It. Yeah, it was so five seconds ago. How did I kill them? <laughs> I'm in the now. That's, That's the right. Man. Time dilutes when yeah. you're playing Call of Duty. That's awesome. So I mean, I'm assuming explosions are like snowflakes. And that one is like another. Yes, that's very true. There's like, I mean, people think, oh, well, an explosion, an explosion, but there are so many like variations, you know, depending on the explosive, like it's C4, which, you know, a lot of people, the only way they know C4 is through Call of Duty um, or, you know, action movies. About to say bad guys in action movies. Yeah. And they're plastic. Um, but it's like, you know, that's like a, you know, plastic explosive, it's high velocity. But then there's like the more industrial explosives, like Ampho, which they use for you know mining and stuff. But there's a, such a difference in like you know it's kind of like, and, like, you, saying, and, like and, snowflakes. And you, and you like to tailor certain types of explosives for the thing you want to explode. No, what we do is we have um, we actually have a bomb tech girl who will spin the wheel of explosives. So it's kind of like, ooh, what's it gonna land on? <laughs> That's how we create drama in four minutes. You know, what's 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 the I guess what's the hairiest explosive? The one that sort of, you know, is probably the least certain what the outcome's gonna be or is unstable? You know, everything is so stable. I mean, these guys are, you know, technicians. You know, 
it's probably as safe as you're gonna get. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like we're out in the, the backyard with black powder, <laughs> we're just lighting off, lighting off bombs and we're gonna take our thumbs off. You no know. cluster bombs or anything? No. Like that. Cool. So, um, in, in terms of stuff that you haven't exploded yet, is there kind of like the dream explosion? Yeah, like dead fish yeah. or something? No, we were, we were talking. Dead fish? <laughs> yeah, the whale. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, do you remember that? Did you ever see that documentary? A, it was like a beached whale. It oh, was yeah. rotting and they're like, it was smelling at the beach and they're like, how do we get rid of this thing? And some genius thought, let's put dynamite underneath it and just, you know, evaporate it. But what they didn't realize is it was going to basically spray rotten whale. Yeah. All over everybody. Twenty twenty hundred. I, I don't know how there was that disconnect between cause and effect on Seems that one obvious, because right? it's like it's it doesn't it, it doesn't yeah. evaporate. It's like, time out. Let's <laughs> let's think this all the way through. They were thinking in video game terms. They were thinking of how when you blow something up in a game, it's just not there anymore. Yeah, when you just, blow up yeah, a car, it, it gets replaced with four yeah, tires. You just get like have a black spot on the ground. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just this explosion yeah. happened here. And then when you turn away and you come back, it'll be it's, it's, it's it's normal ground again. Whales don't work that way. Cleaned it up. It's all good. But that would be like. How, how am I gonna find a dead whale? Maybe I'll have to build a whale. You know, get some maybe uh, free willy. Maybe yeah. maybe they still have a, that prop, the the big rubber whale, and we can blow that up. That'd was it was, was was free? I mean, we're gonna break his heart probably if we say that. Free yeah, willy was it a was prop. fake. He was not. Well, I mean, you know, there was there was a real one, but then they blew him up. What are you saying? There, not yet. <laughs> Wait for it. He's she's far freer than you can possibly mm. imagine. The free we're gonna <laughs> literally free him forever. So uh, you know, back 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 to the explosions in games. I still think it's Crytek, even though I've never really loved any one of the games they've made. Yeah, that's you know. It, I love that we're having this discussion though. Yeah, about, about just <laughs> explosions. Explosions in video games. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get geekier than that. No, it doesn't. I love it. Back. I love it. I, I still there's there's certain uh, now now I'm about to make this worse. <laughs> that, that, there's, there's certain <laughs> contours to the way things blow up in that. Yeah. Like you really get the sense of the cloud and just yeah. the voluminous. You probably have well, the correct terms for this. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh yes. The uh, the juxtaposition of the flame in the smoke, but that <laughs> the explosion the the uh, the nuclear bomb that goes off in Call of Duty. Oh my God. Oh yeah, That has got to be like the yeah. epic. Of all explosions in it was, videos, and I think it played. I was playing that at eight o'clock in the morning when I got to that moment. Cool. And, when and you had started at ten o'clock the night before. No, uh, I know. I, I gone okay. to bed. That was like one of the first things that happened when I okay. got to my new. I know you didn't start it at ten o'clock the night before because Call of Duty games aren't long enough for you to play from ten p.m. to eight a.m. Good point. Unless you suck like me, and then you just keep dying. <laughs> all right. But yeah, that was one of those like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna go back and play that game. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I just remember that moment of just that mushroom oh, cloud and you're like, holy crap, like they nailed it. Yeah. Call of Duty nailed it. Except for one thing though. The RPGs I feel like aren't realistic. Have you ever seen a real RPG go off? It's not mm -hmm. like the movie where it's like It's like an instant, like it's almost like a gunshot. It's just like bah! And in Call of Duty is there is that delay. Right. As I, a, is yeah. that, it's very authentic. Everything else, like when the shockwave goes off and you get a ring, you know, and it's like you move slow. Mm -hmm. Like I love that part of the of the game, but the RPGs, they still go I think that's because if they actually did behave the, the appropriate way, it would be too easy. It'd be a broken weapon, that, it'd be too powerful. Yeah, yeah it'd be so that's, powerful that's, that's, that you could just yeah. wreak havoc or something yeah. like that. Because we, we went out to uh, New Mexico and we were testing uh, RPGs and I was surprised at how quick, I mean, it's, it's basically like a gunshot. It's, it's not, you don't see, there's no, it's like bam, and the thing goes off and hot molten huh. copper goes everywhere. It's pretty insane. Is it fun? It's amazing. I mean, that, Do you ever have a chance? They didn't let us actually hold it. Mm -hmm. We had it remotely operated, but like, you know, if you ever have a chance to shoot RBG. Right there on the cusp. Do awesome. it. Put it, put it, up, <laughs> put it up there on your, put it on your bucket list. All right, RPGs. RPGs, but not the JRPGs. No, yeah. not the JRPGs. Do you want to blow some stuff up on your own? Then why not check out Gamefly? Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 8,000 new and classic titles, many of which feature explosions. Plans start at just $15.95 per month, and you can keep your games for as long as you like. Once you're done playing, send it back, and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. Best of all, you can support Casual Friday and get a 15-day free trial when you sign up at Gamefly.com casual.